Hi guys, me Flom here, and today I'm playing with Winnie and Walter stamps. I love this stamp company. I was so excited when they sent these over to me to play with for my Camp Scrap series. And these, this particular set, this is Sentimental Love. I love, I, know, I love the love. I love these little sentiments. What I like about them is I love the cursive font combined with the really simple font, and I love that they're small. And I think that there's these would be great on your pocket pages. I think these would be great in your scrapbooks and your planner. They'd be great everywhere. And I love that when a stamp set does not just work in one type of paper crafting, but across all paper crafting. So today what I want to show you is one technique, two different ways, super, super simple. Now you could use this on any paper crafting you'd like. I'm going to make a card and I am going to do scent with love and let me just make sure I have that right side up hugs and kisses and I just have a plain heavy cardstock here you will want to let that dry just for a minute and you can use I'm using just a smooth cardstock you could use any cardstock that you like could do anything you like any medium that you like I've got some picked raspberry distress ink and I'm gonna put some on my foam blending tool here and I'm just gonna start in the middle and I'm trying to use a really light hand now I'm also going to use festive berries and here here's where I get crazy I'm not even using a different tool I'm just using the same tool and just really really light hand now you're gonna get a few spots. It's just gonna happen. That's just gonna be how it is as you start to blend. There's gonna be a few spots where it's heavier. I like this. <laughs> I want that. That's actually why I'm doing this the way I'm doing it. If you want absolute perfection, you're gonna have to go about it a little different way or be more uh, careful or make sure that there's just barely, barely, barely anything on your tool. Me, I, I like it. I want it to have just a little bit of that extra color. And then I'm going back in with picked raspberries on there again. And what I'm doing is just kind of extending this area. And I'm going back and forth because I do kind of want it to be like a swipe of color, if you will. I don't want it to have any rounded edges or anything. Oh, I just love that. And then, guys, we're almost done. Seriously, truly, we're almost done. I'm gonna grab some Heidi Swap Gold Mist, which I love. And I'm gonna go flick, flick, flick. This part is actually completely, you could just skip it. You don't have to do it at all. Do it if you want to, don't do it if you don't want to. That's on you. I like to put a little flicker around like so. Let that dry, and then, just add in a couple of sequins. Me, I'm going to go with my mixed berry sequin tin here because there's actually, it's funny, there's actually kind of a reddish one in here. There's a blue one and pink and purple. There's lots of colors. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. All right, so with these, I'm going to add a little bit of PPA, which is my go-to liquid adhesive, and I'm going to try to make the droplets really small. We don't need a lot. I'm just doing a couple. And then I'm just gonna put in a couple little sequins. There's a pink one. There's a little clear star. Just whatever you've got, whatever you want. Or skip this. If you don't have sequins or you don't want to do the sequins, skip this part. Just the little bit of mist would be okay. If you don't have mist, I'm going to show you in a second my actual finishing touch because as I'm working on this, I thought of something else I want to do here. There's a lot of options for you. And one of them I'm going to show you right now, which is, got that stamp, take a little bit of that ink, put it on, and then get a paintbrush. Big, small, shouldn't really matter. Get this wet. Get your paintbrush in there. Pick up some color. And now you have instant little flicks without buying a product. Just use what you've got. I'm a really, really, really big fan of 
utilizing what I've got on hand. So if what you have on hand is ink, splatter a little ink. It is going to bleed and blend and get a little different look and that's fine by me, but I just love it. It's so, so simple. So now I'm going to show you a little similar thing slightly different approach. This time I have a smaller piece of watercolor paper. So it's going to be textured. It's also, well, it's watercolor paper. So it's designed differently. It's designed to work and blend and bleed those mediums. And I'm just stamping my stamp in there. You mean the world to me is the one I use this time. I'm telling you guys, this set has so many fun, fun little sayings and stuff. Okay. So we've got that. And then what I'm going to do is use a couple different mediums. You could stick with Distress Ink. That would be just fine. I'm going to pull out some Prima oil pastels. I'm going to pull out a couple different things. And I'm going to go ahead and use my little piece of plastic since I've already got it going there. And I'm going to start with these. I'll put a little bit on my mat. Why on my mat? Or whatever you've got. Your plastic, your non-stick surface, your non-stick mat. I'm starting on the right there for a very important reason. I'm starting them right there because by starting them right on there, what I can do is really control how much color comes onto here. So I'm going to take a little bit of water and just spray these with a little bit of water. And then I've got a water brush, paintbrush filled with water. If you don't have a water brush, just use a paintbrush. And I'm just going to swirl on some color like so. Now see how it's a similar kind of effect to what we were doing with the blending tool, but this time more water. And we're going to get a little different effect because we're working on watercolor paper, because we aren't working on a flat paper not intended for this kind of color to be added in. And I'm just flooding it with a little more water here. And a little more water, because I am going to want pretty much this entire surface to have some water and some color. And then I'm going to let this dry just for a minute and we're going to switch mediums. We're going to use another type of medium that'll also work. It's not quite dry, but it's pretty close. I've got some distress in blueprint right there that I'm going to add a little bit here and there. And I like to add a lot of really flood a lot of water for this kind of a look just to get a very just a very relaxed and very kind of natural look on here. And then I've got metallic accents. These are also by Prima. And these are so pretty. They're so pretty. So I'm going to do a little bit of the blue one. And just add, again, just lots of water. Nice and loose and easy. No worries about how it looks. That's the thing I like about this is when I do something like this, I'm not, and then there's like a pearl color here that I'm going to add some into as well. We're not worrying about if it looks just so, if it's the best ever. We're just having some fun with some watercolor, keeping it loose. And you could make a card like this for, oh, I don't know, pretty much anything. You could make it for a pocket page. You could make it as um, a dashboard in your planner, whatever you want, or make a card. Now all I've got left to do on this is it needs to dry and then I'm going to stitch it and put it on some pattern paper. So I've adhered it, you can see the shimmer there, on to a map paper because I thought that would be perfect with the sentiment. And I want to do, I brought this one back out because I want to do something similar, just kind of opposite direction here. There's so many ways to just use a sentiment and very little else. You don't always need a whole lot to make a nice little card. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the blue. Oh, I love, love these shimmery, beautiful paints. And let's see here. I'm going to tap this. So look at all the little speckles I'm making. Isn't that fun? So that just adds another layer of color, another layer of detail, and then I'm just being sure to clear my water brush. So to clear it, you just give it a good squeeze and press until the colors stops. Okay, then you know you're, you're good. You're good to go. So I love all those little speckles because I didn't really feel like gold was a good color for this one. I am going to run it through my sewing machine. And then I'm just going to add some little sequins here. Now, I'm going to run it through my sewing machine now, now that it's attached. I could have done it before, um, but look at the inside here. I am going to cover this. I'm going to put white cardstock and 
maybe patterned paper, but definitely white cardstock. This is all going to get covered. So I don't mind if there's stitches right here because it's going to be covered anyway. If you don't have a sewing machine or if you do not want to stitch for any reason, black pen would work, glitter glue, whatever you've got, or you could skip that all together. So now I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some glitter glue here and just put a few little dollops down. Now just a trick from me to you, if you get to a point where you're like, oh goodness, I put too much, sometimes it works. Right now this one's so full it didn't do a whole lot, but if you're squeezing the glitter glue, okay, and you've already got some out, and you touch the tip to there, okay, it did take some, and release, the glitter glue will often suck, get sucked back into the container. So that's my little trick for if you put a dollop down and you're going, wow, that's way too much glitter glue. That's one trick. So just, just a little extra here. I'm having so much fun with Camp Scrap and putting all of this extra content together. Of course, regularly on my blog, you will find content and I hope you keep checking in because there's always going to be more and so much fun. But honestly, this, uh, this is a favorite. Well, I'm going to say that a lot. This is a favorite for me though, because I love playing with sentiment stamps. I think sentiment stamps are so much fun. And I like that sometimes I feel like it gets kind of complicated where you're looking at stuff and going, well, geez, I have to have, you know, 10,000 dies and this and that and I just want to make a card. Well, you don't have to have a ton of stuff to make a fun card. And I hope I am showing you that here today. This has just been such a good time, such a fun thing to make. Loving it. Okay, so you can just put, I'm putting my sequins all around here. You can put them all around. You can skip this part. You could have skipped the stitching. There's lots of variations here and I want you to remember that. I mean, I just took one simple, very simple idea and created in a couple of different ways with it already. And I hope you're getting inspired by Camp Scrap, by the ideas that I'm sharing with you here and just in general. So if you have any questions whatsoever, it could be about a blog post or it could be, I mean, it could be about anything at all, feel free to shoot me an email or leave me a comment and let me know how I can help, what you need, what we can do to uh, get you on your way so that you too are creating lots of fun stuff. So for even more fun, follow the link if you're watching this via YouTube so that you can check out my blog and see a little more information and I always add a little more to my write-ups. I'll see you next time.